Hey everybody, it's Bob at DITV. We're in the Innovation Expo at DITV Studio, and I'm sitting here with Mary Benjamin. She is affiliated with the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff, if I understand correct. Correct. Uh -huh. And you're visiting us at Global Finals to kind of take a look at how is a tournament run here because you have hosted a tournament of your own, is that right? Absolutely, in March of this year, we hosted the Arkansas State Tournament at the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. And how did it go? It went wonderfully well. And really what I've concluded is that I saw it on small scale and now I get to see it on global scale. I like both. <laughs> it works for everybody down in Arkansas and it works for everybody around the world. Absolutely. <laughs> That's uh -huh. great. What's been your experience so far here at Global Finals? Uh, what, what have you seen? What have you done? It's been fast paced, starting with the welcoming session and then on the next day going to the Disney workshop. That was really a treat to see the students get so involved in drawing, going to some of the competitions, and then just sort of walking around, getting to see the various groups that are here. And we went to see one this morning and the group was from Turkey. So I am really getting to see global competition. That's great, that's mm -hmm. great. So your experience with DI, you're still for, sort of new to the, the organization mm -hmm. and what goes on here, but what are some of the things that you're noticing in the, in the students, in the, in the participants? I'm noticing a high level of energy, uh, a great deal of teamwork, uh, the ability to move around and take directions in a hurry, and a lot of adult supervision. I like all of that, but this is not really my first exposure to DI. Uh, at my church back in Arkansas, there's a family there, and the daughter as well as the granddaughter have participated in DI. And the mother of that combination always gives an announcement at church <laughs> when her granddaughter wins a competition. So it wasn't new to me as a citizen, but it was new to us as a university to host DI on our campus. Yeah, that's fantastic. You said you're a vice chancellor for research and innovation yes. over there on your campus. Mm -hmm. um, what are some of the things that you're noticing and, and maybe looking out for in terms of potential students that are gonna come your way? And right. what's DI have to offer in that? Well, DI is very compatible with one of my major projects, which is in STEM, Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. We have a STEM Academy at the university and I am the principal investigator we have grants from the National Science Foundation and the U.S. Department of Education, all designed to get more underrepresented minorities involved in STEM careers. So one of the things I notice here is that I'd like to see more underrepresented minorities from the Arkansas Delta involved in DI activities because there are so many enriching experiences here that would really give them a competitive edge as they build their careers. Definitely, and we'd mm -hmm. love to see more people from Arkansas visiting here at Knoxville for of Global course. Finals. Yes. Thanks mm -hmm. so much for stopping by and talking to us for a little bit. Hope Thank you enjoy you. the rest of your Global Thank Finals. Thank you for asking, it's been my pleasure. Great. Thank you. Check out more at globalfinals.org.